All right, cool. Uh, show of hands, who actually knows of Sing? Nobody. Yay! <laughs> two people. Great. Okay, so uh, everybody's heard of Mist, I guess, by now, or the DAP browser for desktop. Okay, so Sing is an open source Ethereum client uh, for smartphones. We're targeting Android and iOS. Um, it's essentially a DAP browser. And if you don't know what a DAP browser is, it's like a web browser, but it's for displaying and viewing uh, distributed applications that run on Ethereum. So back in April 2015, we were awarded a dev grant to port uh, the Ethereum Java implementation to Android. Um, at the time, Go Android was not uh, mature, and cross-compiling C++ implementation was a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Um, since then, I spent a lot of time thinking about how Ethereum is going to be integrating into our daily lives. I guess we can all remember the good old days when uh, we had single-use consumer items, uh, and uh, slowly since that time, they've now merged into our tricorder-like omni tools that we lovely call smartphones. Um, but what good is Ethereum on our smartphones? Well, what about this all this other garbage that's like lining our pockets right now? We've got wallets, we've got receipts, we've got driver's license, keys. Um, these items are physical re uh, representations of the very fabric of our society. They help us interface with our economy, they uh, identify who we are, and they allow us access into private property. Uh, but they are, they are still physical items, and so they do incur high transaction costs. And the inertia behind innovating behind them is incredibly slow. If we can start merging these into our smartphones, into Ethereum, then we can start iterating on them, we can start combining them in real, new and interesting ways, uh, and we can start innovating much faster. Making, even if we make one of these things slightly more efficient, it's going to save millions of man hours that could be put to better use. So with Sing, we did start following uh, Mist uh, and uh, following the DAP browser concept. We slightly changed our approach. When you think about contracts, they're never really done in isolation. You don't, they're not created out of, out of thin air, they're not signed out of thin air. There's always some kind of social interaction around them, um, in the very least negotiations. So Sing, oh, and not only that, uh, there is a movement on mobile uh, phones to turn messaging systems into platforms. Uh, Facebook is doing it, uh, WhatsApp and all that. So Sing is now turning into a hybrid instant messaging and DAC browser. Uh, we're building our chat, chat protocols on top of Whisper, and uh, this will allow you to chat only right, with your friends and family, not only in a secure encrypted fashion, um, but it's also going to allow you to chat to distributed applications. And what do I mean by that? In Sync, dApps are essentially contacts. You'll be able to interact with them through chat. The chat history will allow you, uh, allow you to see transactions per distributed application, um, and it will also serve as a customer service channel for DAP creators. If you start to think about it, I don't know how technical everybody is here, but uh, if you've ever worked in the command line interface, you can start thinking of chat as a command line interface for the average user. And so chatbots start to make a little more sense. Um, and of course, any HTML-based uh, DAP, which is like all of them right now, is still going to work perfectly fine. Uh, a web view based on WebKit is going to be overlaid on top of this, and you can have it come up automatically anyway. But most importantly, this means smart social contracts. And what do I mean by that? Well, what I'm talking about here is the implicit agreements that we make on a daily interaction. You know, whether I, I want to send you some money, whether you want to borrow something from me, maybe we're at a restaurant and we want to split the bill. If we can start making these smart contracts like components that are easy to use, then we can start using them and dropping them into our, into our chats. How this will work in Sing is essentially when you pull up, uh, like say, stickers or emoticons in, uh, in chat, you'll also have another menu where you'll be able to drag and drop 
uh, smart contracts. Another feature we're working on is the uh, unified search and local discovery. Uh, this will also be based on Whisper. And uh, what this will allow is something like a, <coughs> like a classified, something like Craigslist, but a little bit different. Uh, you'll be able to discover people who are participating in Ethereum around you, and they'll be able to offer different services. Uh, they could be businesses, um, and there'll also be dApps thrown in there as well. And of course, you'll be able to tailor this to your, your search queries uh, if you're not just browsing locally. Um, for those DAP results, we will be integrating with Consensus's uh, DAP store. I guess nobody's been following this thing here except for two people, but uh, we did start with Java. Uh, we're throwing that out now. Um, we spent the last few months actually trying to create uh, a unified uh, GUI um, that was based on JavaFX, and that would allow us to cross uh, have one code base that would work across multiple platforms. Unfortunately, JavaFX is just horrendous on mobile. Like um, the, the render loop is just not uh, it's not well optimized. Uh, however, our experiments with uh, React Native and now the uh, the amazing cross compile builds of <coughs> Go Ethereum that uh, Peter's been working on, uh, those tests have been working really really well. And uh, so we've been, we've got our own fork of uh, Go Ethereum that we've been merging the uh, light client um, changes into and some of our own. And that'll give us three modes of operation. So you'll have the light, the light client. This is experimental. Um, it most likely isn't going to work for a while. Um, and it's not slated for Homestead either. So it's just experimental. Um, then we have the JSON RPC relay. Uh, this is just the client talking to a server, our server, um, and then that server will communicate with the rest of the Ethereum network. So much like a normal boring app that we have today. Um, but don't worry, uh, all transactions are still signed locally, so you're not sharing any of your secret keys with, with us and we don't know what's going on. Um, and if you're hardcore, you can run a full node. I guess it'll warm your, warm your pants or something. <laughs> We also switched our language that we're writing this into <coughs> Clojure Script. Uh, so, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so where are we at the moment? Uh, we had a successful pre-alpha. Uh, that was on Google Play. Uh, we got quite a lot of uh, good feedback on that. We've pretty much re-implemented what we had with that now in Clojure Script and React Native. Um, and we're running Go Ethereum on that, of course. Uh, we finished our messaging and disco uh, discovery application protocols, and we're now implementing those. And we've also started implementing the, uh, the new designs we have for the interface. So yeah, come check us out. We are an open source project, so pull requests are welcome. And we are hiring, so um, if you eat parentheses for breakfast, come talk to me. Um, yeah, follow me on Twitter. If you think it's a great idea, tell someone. That'd be great. Uh, <laughs> Next time I do this talk, I want to see a few more hands come up. <laughs> Thanks.